Hey there. My name is Tomasol and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to edit a website custom hobby decals. What I will be explaining is how to add new pages as well as how to edit current ones. The ones that have Laura Mipson, which is demo content, how to edit those. So let's get started. Currently I'm logged in as administrator, therefore I have this administration bar on the top. So first let's navigate to some of existing pages. We're gonna navigate to let's say community, client portal. So let's open up that page. Here we go. Now in the top bar, in this administration bar, we're gonna navigate to edit, edit with UX Builder. We're gonna, we're gonna have to click on it in order to edit this client portal page. We have to wait a bit while UX Builder loads. Here we go. Now what we can see here is that this page consists of one row. That row has one column. This column is full width as you can see right here. This column then has a title and a text block. So now if we want to let's say edit this title we have to click on this gear icon and click options. Now we can change title here. We can also change different settings in here from size, margin, styles, icons, URLs and such. Here if you want this title to be pointing on some other URL we have to add it here. When we're done with the changes you of course have to click apply on the bottom or the changes which we do will be lost so we must never forget to click apply. In this demo purpose I'm gonna click cancel actually discard so let's say if we want to edit this text block we simply click on it or again we can click on options it's really the same we can now add text right here but if we want to style it we would have to write the code html or css code in here that's why we have a text editor we can style it with an editor right here we can do really anything that we want in here with various options from this element. We can as well add media, widows, uh, images and such. We can even add a fo form and so on. When we're done we of course have to click OK. Now if we want to let's say add something else in this current column we have to click in here we can if we want to edit above uh, below client portal title we have to click here if we want to edit on bottom we can click here i'm going to click here now the left section appears with various elements we can add any of these elements in here i'm gonna add a new text block there are then various presets of this text block. Let's say I'm going to choose paragraph with sub headline, click apply. Now again we can choose open text editor and we can alter the text here and change this text here and we, when we're done we just click OK. If you want to add something with two columns below we have to click on add a row add a row generates a new column in a new row this column is currently one third of full width we're gonna go to options of this column now we can alter settings here we can make this column to be full width like the above ones are 
or we can change to one half as a very one half there are various settings again in here for the for different styling and such click apply I'm gonna add another one add a row once again options of this column I'm gonna click one half once again as you can see we have in two blocks I can add now elements into each of these I'm gonna click plus here I'm gonna add let's say image here I'm gonna select it from the media library here you go just friend one for demo purposes here we go this image is now full width of this column we can again change the size here depending of the this column in this right uh, block I'm gonna add text apply apply as you can see now we have two columns in a new row and this is basically the principle how you edit these pages it's really simple once you get used to it again if you want to delete some of these let's say I want to delete this image I click on this gear icon and click delete I can even duplicate, dupl duplicate it with this button delete and let's say I'm gonna delete this one as well all right and there we go we have it deleted if we want to delete these sections, columns, we have to add it, delete it here. Here we go. We can now change this left column into any other settings that we want and click apply. All right, so that's it. That's it for now. I'm gonna just leave I won't save these changes I'm gonna visit the home page once again in order to show you how to add new pages like the one that we just saw so we have to go on a new and then we choose page Right now we can add some title here this will be the title of this page the URL will be generated automatically now we can choose the category of this page and some various elements in here but none of these are important right now we have to open UX Builder once we add this title Alright, so now this new page is completely empty. As you can see, there are none elements here, there is nothing. We can choose some of templates that already exist and then alter them. But in this case, we're gonna add a new element with plus button right here. We're gonna first add a new row. I'm gonna choose one column. We can choose any other. Apply, apply once again. All right, we have a comb that is full width now. I'm gonna add a title now in here. 
here we go now in order for the title and the structure to be the same as all other pages we have to choose a left bolt in here and we simply add some title here when we're done we have to click apply and then we can by clicking on this plus button below the title add some other content in here I'm gonna add the text once again and I'm gonna just click apply here we go so it's really simple it's basically the same like editing it's almost the same thing it's basically the same thing yeah so once again we can add a new row in here new section and there's really a lot a lot of things to include in here and we're done we of course have to click publish because this page is not published yet so it doesn't exist so make sure to publish this page in order not to choose not to lose all all the work that you've done so it's really important to click publish and then we can of course later edit this page like I've explained on a example a few minutes ago so that's it thanks for watching